Hello and welcome to Hyper Production with me, Rory. This is just a quick episode showing you how to automate your project's tempo within Logic Pro 10. So stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so as I mentioned, this is just a quick tutorial to show you how to automate the global tempo within Logic Pro 10. But firstly, I'll start with as to why you probably want to do this. I suppose this little tip is more aimed towards the scorers of you out there. So people that make a lot of music for film or adverts or any kind of moving picture where you need to follow sort of the dynamics and the tempo of what's going on on screen. Equally, there's other various uses for this. So if you're doing like a show reel of your work and you want to send it off to a client and you want to add a few bits to a click track with all your tracks consolidated into one project and again this is quite handy for that as well. So how do we go about doing it? Above the track icon here or above the top track here, the panning, there's a little drop down menu down here which will then reveal the global tempo. So as you can see it's pretty straightforward, you click on the various points in time along the arrangement window as to where you want to add your new tempo. So then once you've clicked them on there, if you just drag it up it will already cut it off just like you can within the marquee tool and then when you're doing that it will then give you nice blocks of variable tempo so let's play that through quickly there you go so i'll just do it a bit more drastically there so let's leave that at 133 and then what we're going to do is jump up all the way down oh, doesn't seem to want to click on it all the way down to say there Okay, so you can quickly see, that's how you change tempo within a project really easily and quickly. I hope you've learned something from this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Cheers.